Hello, my beautiful dolls. Today we will be using a palette by Too Faced in Just Peachy Matte. I'm so excited about this palette. Got it a couple days ago, and this is my first time trying it. Look at that beauty. Yes. So, dolls, we will be starting off with the E35 Blending Brush by Sigma. And the color we're going to be using is Peach Cobbler. That's our starting point. Now, the awesome thing about this palette is it actually smells like peaches. So, I first didn't believe it, but when it arrived, it definitely smells like peaches. And as I always tell you, just keep blending with this beautiful bright orange color. And that's always going to be our little secret to getting the beautiful, beautiful smoky eye. Now we're going to continue this look with the beautiful peach punch color and our E Sigma 35 blending brush once again. Gonna start off in the corners and just blend, 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 blend. Now the fun thing about editing is that when I was editing this video I did notice that one side was a little darker than the other but this is because I was dipping my blending brush into this palette before I started filming and you know once I started I already had dark color on there the rest is history but as I was blending later on and once this look was completed it was on point here I went in with a clean smaller blending brush in E25 by Sigma just went over the two shadows and blended in shadows a little more alrighty now I'm going in with the E36 crease brush and I'm using the beautiful peach sangria color look at that beauty starting off in the corners again and just blending that beautiful shadow in Alrighty dolls, now we're going to get started with the E30 pencil brush by Sigma as well by taking that peach sangria color we just used in our crease and starting on the bottom of our eye we're going to blend that beautiful color as well. Now I don't use every eyeshadow on the bottom of my eye, just when I get to the darker colors I start blending it in so it truly gets that smoky effect. We are now going to take our E38 crease brush again and we're going to be using the darkest color in the palette called Chocolate Dip and we are going to start in the beautiful beautiful corner of our eyes and once again just blending the shadow color. now going to go back in with the E30 pencil brush and we're going to take that beautiful chocolate dipped shadow again and we're going to start on the bottom of our eyes. Just take your time to simply blend in this beautiful shadow. I fast forward my videos because I just don't want to bore you guys and have this video be 60 minutes long on how I'm blending my shadow. Here I took a brush by Luxie 246 and I'm just going to go back in with the chocolate dip shadow and smoke it out more on the bottom even though this states that it's a crease brush i just liked it more for my bottom Alrighty, now i'm going to go in with peaches and cream it's a light color i'm sure one day i'll get rid of this bad habit where i take my finger 
and I put a light shadow in the middle of my lid just to give it that nice blended look. But for now, I'm rocking the finger look and just work with me. Before applying my false lashes, I'm going to be using the Big Ego Mascara by Tarte. I originally received this mascara in my BoxyCharm box. I'm personally not a fan of it, but I figured since I'm going to be applying false lashes that it's a great product to use before then just to get your lashes settled. I usually like the big clumpy look when it comes to mascara and this just didn't do it for me, but obviously I'm not going to toss a pricey product out. I'm going to be applying my lashes on and be right back. And I'm back being extra as always with some lashes and I am baking my face here just blending everything in to get that beautiful matte finish. So dolls going in with a MAC brush in 109. I am going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in the shade 20. I want to say that's the name or that's how it's pronounced, Twine. And I'm just going to be contouring. This is my absolute favorite contouring brush that I've come across in the last couple of years. And me and this brush have been through some time together. I just, it's literally barely even showing the number, but it's definitely my favorite. And here I'm just blending and giving my face some shape. As you can tell dolls, I'm going to be adding this same bronzer to my forehead, my nose, and for sure my neck. Just blending everything in so we don't have three different colors to our face. Now going in with a Emacs Design brush in no particular number, I'm going to be using the Peach Butter light color. And I'm going to be adding this shadow to my brow bone and just having a little more of a smoked out look, blending it in a little on both eyes, and just finishing up final touches. You know, the singing has to be there, girlies. As you can tell, I am milking the life out of my favorite lip duo, and this is the lip pencil and mix called Nude Suede Shoes. I'm just putting it all over my lip. So my lip gloss can stay on longer, but this lip duo here has been my favorite for years. This is the lip gloss in Adored Velvet by Victoria's Secret, and it is a matte lip gloss. It's just a perfect, beautiful nude. Even when I lose my tan, this is just my go-to duo because for some reason during winter it has like a nice little pinkish hit to it, but during summer when I have a tan it's just... A beautiful beautiful nude color and I get compliments on this duo all the time. Miss Extra is back. I'm going to go blow dry my hair and you guys will see the final look. Hey dolls, so I am absolutely back. This is my final look or my somewhat final look. The one thing I forgot was to apply highlighter so I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit um, highlighter with my highlighting brush from Sigma and I am going to be applying the color bubbly so it's not a pure white highlighter it's more of a goldish highlighter or has a goldish hit to it and I'm just applying the final touches to complete my look Alrighty dolls, so clearly I have this thing going on right now with the hands and the hair flips and all that fun stuff, but I guess I do deserve a couple seconds of being extra after all that work in the makeup world, but look at that glow honey, it is everything and more. Obviously, with all the seriousness, there has to be silliness or else it wouldn't be me, obviously. Anyways, dolls, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Love, Daniela.